a good life. What's up guys? So today we're going to be testing the bite force of four different breeds of dog. We've got the giant schnauzer, the Belgian Malinois, the German Shepherd, and we've even got a Wheaton Terrier. So that's going to be definitely going to be a good one. And this is going to be hosted at Canine Solutions by Nathaniel Lewis, who is a very well-known and a very respected dog trainer who's competed at a very high level. So shout out to Nathaniel for this one. We are going to be using the Mark II bite sleeve in this one, which is an updated and improved version of the one that you saw in the last video. Now this bite sleeve is a lot more accurate, has a lot better technology and is also wireless. So we're not going to have the issue with the dogs getting the paws tangled in the wires anymore. So you'll see in the video guys, this one is definitely not one to miss. So these are our four contenders for today's episode. We've got a bit of background information about each breed there as well. If you want to read that, you can pause the video. Let me know down in the comments which breed that you think is going to get the highest bite score. So if you look in the bottom right, you're going to see the bite force claimed for the wheat and terrier. Now this wasn't easy to find. There's not much information about this online and I'm guessing no one's tested it. But that's what Google says, so that's what we're going to go with. So first up, we've got Bud, the German Shepherd. He is the only one on the leaderboard at the minute, guys. As the video goes on, we're going to keep adding the dogs onto the leaderboard so we can compare their stats. Over to the right, we've got the power to weight ratio as well. So we're just working out how much the dog weighs versus how much pressure is he applying on the bite. And then we're going to work out a ratio for that power to weight score. Uh, you might have noticed in the sleeve, there is a little bit of variation so sometimes you'll be getting minus one kilograms or plus one kilograms when the dog's not biting. This is just because the sensor is so sensitive, any movement from the decoy's arm is gonna give a little bit of negative or positive pressure. But that is an absolutely solid first effort from Bud. 95 kilograms, 209 pounds, and that's just in his jaw. So that is more than double what he weighs of force just in his jaw so that's very impressive uh, and you can imagine how much that would hurt that would probably quite easily fracture your arm but yeah let's get on to the next one what? 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 Out. Yes. 
killed. Okay, so I'm out again. Ouch! Sit. 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 Keep him there. So you can see at the start there, OP was very eager to get on the bite sleeve and just um, just bite somebody in general. But that's just how Malinois are. You know, they love to they love to work and they just love to bite things. But we did have a little bit of trouble with getting OP into the center of the sleeve. Um, he kept kind of deviating off to the side onto the soft parts. Uh, but to get an accurate reading, we need him to be in the center of the sleeve. So I wouldn't really take that as OP's maximum bite force. Uh, we'll probably try and get him on again in another episode, but I think he can he can definitely do more than 70 kilograms. Also, another thing to note with OP, um, how good is his obedience? When when you hear his handler outing him off the sleeve, he almost outs first time every time. And some trainers do struggle with that. So, you know, that's very impressive from an obedience standpoint. <laughs> So Brussel is probably the definition of do not judge a book by its cover. He just looks so cute and fluffy, but you know, he's like a Tasmanian devil. Look um look at the power to weight ratio in the top right there for Brussel. He got 80 kilograms and 176 pounds of pressure. So definitely do not underestimate the wheat and terriers because they certainly pack a punch. Now that puts Brussel in second place on the bite force scale and actually puts him into first place on the power to weight ratio scale. So nice one, Brussel smashed it. Out! Zeus! Sit! So last, but certainly not least, we've got Zeus. Zeus is just a very intimidating dog. That bark is one of the meanest barks I've ever heard. Uh, and coming in with 100 kilograms bite force and 220 pounds of pressure. 
Um, not done so well on the power to weight ratio scale there, but Zeus is it's quite a heavy dog, so he's not going to do too well on there anyway. So just taking a look at the finished leaderboard now from the four dogs that we've tested today. Just take a look at Zeus and Bud at the top, German Shepherd, Giant Schnauzer. And then if you refer back to the breed info chart I did at the beginning of the video, apparently the Giant Schnauzer has 500 PSI and the German Shepherd only has 238 PSI. So in theory, Zeus would have to double Bud's score for that to be correct. So this just proves my point that a lot of the information you see online is not entirely accurate. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you want to see more, like and subscribe because this is what we've got coming up in the next episode.